Okay, so now we're going to look at another worksheet uh, that is called Rhythmic Exercise 1A. So if you don't have that um, uploaded or if it didn't come along with this video, make sure you go to my website and get that again up on a, uh, up on a computer screen where you can view it or get it printed out and on a music stand. Again, it's called Rhythmic Exercise 1A. And this basically takes a lot of the rhythms that are in the rhythmic template that we were just practicing on, and it combines them into one uh, piece of music that hopefully has some interesting uh, rhythmic phrases in it for us to work on. Okay? So now we are going to go from one measure to the next, right along, and we're going to go from the top of the page all the way to the bottom of the page. We're again going to use... Uh, rule number one, playing all the possible eighth notes and accenting note, the notes that are written on the page. So here we go with 60 clicks per minute. We're going to go ahead and play all the way down on Rhythmic Exercise 1A. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and and one and two and three and four 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 and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and one and two, three and four and one. And two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay I hope you were able to follow along there and play along if not if it was too confusing you might want to go back and review the beginning part of this video and practice a little bit more on the rhythmic exercise template. Remember, just take one bar at a time and get used to playing just that rhythm, uh, you know, and jump around and maybe try to do all of them if you can do that. Uh, but at least make sure you, you look through uh, each one of the pages and pick a few off each page. And, the, you know, the more of those that you can do, the easier time you'll have playing uh, this page, okay? We're going to come back in the next segment, and we're going to do this a little bit faster. We're going to uh, move up to 70 beats per minute or clicks per minute in the next segment, so I'll see you back for that.
Here we go with 70 clicks per minute. Good luck. We'll see you at the end. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. did well with that. Again, uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble, make sure you go back to the beginning of the video or go back to the rhythmic uh, uh, template and uh, go through a lot of those measures. Make sure you're really getting comfortable with accenting on the right hand, accenting on the left hand. And of course, if you're having trouble reading the rhythms, uh, that would definitely impede your progress here with this video. Uh, if you you know having trouble with that, you want to go back and look at the rhythmic reading videos uh, on the website as well. Okay, uh, we'll be back in the next segment. We'll go up to 80. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one two three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three one and two and three and four and 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 one two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and three and four and all right
Alrighty, well, I hope you're doing well. And remember that uh, I'm taking kind of pretty big leaps here from 60 to 70 to 80 because there really just isn't time on the video to go through it uh, more incrementally. But what I would suggest is, you know, if you're at 60 and you can do it pretty well at 60, go up to 62 or 63 first and then do it there and then maybe go up to 65, 68, etc. Work your way up to 70. Work your way up from 70 to 80. Don't just jump like I have kind of in the video here because uh, you know if you're having trouble, if you're struggling with it, you don't want to push the tempo. You want to play it at a tempo that you can play it at and then slowly kind of creep up uh, by adding just a few clicks per minute uh, on the metronome, okay? So you don't have to take these big jumps, these uh, big uh, 70, 80, you know, jumps, 10, 10 clicks jumps. You can take one or two even if you like, okay? Just to kind of work your way up to that tempo. All right, so we'll be back again and we're gonna move it up again. Okay, so hopefully you've worked yourself up incrementally to around 90 and you're ready to play along with me at 90 clicks per minute. So here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and come back we're gonna bump it up a little bit faster I'll see you in the next segment okay we're back and this will be the final segment for this video it's getting a little bit long and what I wanted to do was just really kind of bump the tempo up and run this down real quick um, and what I think I might do is not do a verbal count I'm going to be counting in my head. I'm going to be, you know, hearing that count uh, internally uh, while I play this so I know where I am. But I think I'll let you listen to the metronome, listen to the accents on the pad, and uh, if you can play along, uh, that would be great. But we're up at 132. 132. So you want to make sure that you move yourself up incrementally, get yourself to uh, this place. And I uh, hope you have fun playing along. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four.
All right, well, I hope you had some fun playing along with those, and I hope you get the idea of how to use this rhythmic template uh, in order to impose a rule on top of it. And we'll do some more videos with some different rules. Uh, we'll use the same rhythmic template, and we'll just impose some different rules on that template. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.